All right, Ms. Dawson, we, we got to get going. We got to film this. Paul, come over here. Come help me with this. Sure, Ms. Dawson. Come on. Ms. Jean Dawson, of course. The girls that are supposed to do the announcements, I don't think they're back from spring break yet, so I think it's you and me that have to do it. Can you read what's on the teleprompter? Of course. Okay, go ahead. Come on, Martin, you're going to be late. Hurry! Po przerwie wiosennej dziś przedstawię Wam wiadomości z panią Miss Jill Dawson. Miss Dawson, we're back! Och no, I must go away from here. Oh good, 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 you're back, you're back. Now that that's settled, welcome back from Spring Break Raiders. I'm Katie Bavard. And I'm Marin Kelly, and here are your announcements for this week. Summer School Driver's Ed. Summer School Registration Forms are now available in Student Services for Driver's Education, along with many other course offerings. All registration forms are due back to Student Services by May 26. Prom tickets go on sale this week. Tickets are $50 for singles or $100 for couples, including your meal. The last day to buy tickets will be Wednesday, April 5th. Speaking of prom, if you're interested in renting a tux, drop by Student Services and pick up a coupon for tuxedo rentals at Sino Formal Wear. If you're 18 or older, Paradise Hotel is currently looking to fill two part-time openings to be a valet attendant or a kitchen helper. If you're interested, see Mrs. Bishop in Student Services. Last weekend was a great one for EP Wrestling with sophomore Randy Robison becoming a state champion and member of the first ever class of IWOCA Girl State Champions after winning the 122 pound weight class. Freshman Courtney Ashley also became a state champion at the Illinois Girls Wrestling Championships in Jacksonville, winning the 115-119 weight class. Freshman Tristan Westbay placed fourth at the Boys IWCOA Underclassmen State Championship in Springfield, becoming the first underclassman placer in the last decade for East Peoria. If you catch any of them in the hallway, be sure to tell them good job. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, look up at the screen during lunch or log on the school website and check them out there. Stay tuned for a look at the band's time at Disney World and get some tips and tricks from EPCHS's own Mr. Theobald. Mr. Theobald and I'm here to talk about my tips and tricks. As you can see I have a nice list of these tips and tricks but today I'd like to talk about two in particular. Uh, tip number one that I would like to talk about uh, is Bob be at thine uncle. Uh, is a common ending to phrase in chemistry class that lets you know that everything's going to be all right. Uh, tip number two that I want to talk about is uh, your data is your data. Uh, just so you guys know in science class uh, sometimes things don't work out right, but what happens is what happens, and your data is your data. Thanks for listening to these tips and tricks. This next segment of Inside the Tribe was brought to you by Grant Hagedorn, the regional three-point champion. Hi, I'm Becca, and I'm here with Randy, the first ever IWCOA girls' state champion at 122 pounds. So, Randy, how many girls were in your bracket at state? There are 10 girls in my bracket. How many did you have to wrestle, and did you feel nervous before any of the rounds? I had to wrestle three of them, and the girl I had to wrestle in the championships was the one I was most nervous about. Do you plan to pursue wrestling after high school? Yeah, I plan on going to college. And lastly, how does it feel to be the girl state champion for Illinois? It feels really great, like being able to represent East Peoria in the championships and like getting that like a good accomplishment. Thanks, Randy. Hello, and welcome back to this week's extracurriculars. This Monday, the girls' freshman and sophomore softball team 
will be playing at IVC. The boys varsity tennis team will be against Lincoln at home. And the girls varsity softball team will be playing IVC all at 4.15. Also on Monday, the boys freshman baseball team will be playing at Bloomington. And both the girls soccer team will be playing at Limestone. On Tuesday, the boys' varsity tennis team will be facing Limestone at home. The girls' track team will be facing Richwoods, and the freshman boys' baseball will be at Galesburg, as well as the girls' soccer team away at Limestone. On Wednesday, the boys' sophomore baseball team will be playing at Peoria Notre Dame, and the varsity boys will be playing at Galesburg at home. Also on Wednesday, the girls' fresh soft softball team will be playing at Williamsville. All three of these games will start at 4.30. On Thursday, the boys' varsity tennis will be away at Dunlap at 3.30. The boys' sophomore baseball team will be at home at 4.15. Both softball teams will be away at Ottawa and starting at 4.30. And lastly, the girls' soccer team will be at home. On Friday, the boys' freshman baseball team will be away at Springfield, and the varsity team will be playing at home against LaSalle. We have a lot going on this week, so try to support your Raider family. That's all we have for you today. I'm Tyler Donald. And I'm Becca Ransom. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a, a great, great Raider, Raider Day. day.